Xavier Porter once again with the man himself, the great New Jersey boxer, Hall of Fame inductee, Murad Muhammad. How you feeling today? The greatest of all time. <laughs> of all times. The greatest of all time. So we talked about some things earlier today, and we're, we're you know, following up on some of the discussion in regards to your, your boxing career, your career in boxing, I should say, um, as the promoter. You know, I like that. You're the guy to put it out there. You're as dumb as you look. <laughs> um, and we just finished discussing your first fight. You know, promoting your first fight and everything, and how you how you attained your your license, your boxing your boxing promoter license. Um, can you share working with other promoters? How was that? I was a loner. Uh, first of all, I'd be remiss if I don't give it credit to. Mr. Lee, Bob Lee, uh, he stuck with me all the way. He showed me how to do it to get my license, and I took it from there. But I knew being with Aram and King, because Don King was promoting Muhammad Ali, and Don King made a big mistake. He made a big mistake and he gave Herbert $250,000. We call him Jabba, but everybody knows him as Herbert Muhammad. And I was sitting in Don's office with Herbert and Ali walked in. And Don says, Ali, did Herbert tell you I gave him 250,000? Herbert looked at me, I looked at Herbert like, what the hell he tell Ali that for? So Ali said, let me understand, you gave Herbert 250000 He said, yes. He didn't tell you? He said he gets 33 and a third from my seven figures. You the damn fool. <laughs> Herbert Muhammad should be pat on the back. He got another 250000 <laughs> He walked out the room. So Herbert turned to me when we walked out. He said, I want you to go to Don King's office. There's a guy there. Tell him I want to speak to him. Now, the guy that was in, her, in Don King's office used to walk around with his hand behind his back and his head down. And he would look at me and say, don't come in the box. That's how I knew him. So I was told to ask him to call Herbert. So to make a long story short, I'm cutting through the chase, paraphrasing it. He said, I want you to go get your boxing license. And he says, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Jim Brown, the great Jim Brown, convinced him to go get his license. But here come another guy, came into the Ali and said, I can make you, make a lot of money for you overseas in Germany. Mm -hmm. So you can call Herbert. And I can't get Herbert. So he went to Don King and said, Don, let's do this. Don treated him like a little kid. So when he finally got Herbert, Herbert said, okay, I want to create a corporation. And guess what the name of the corporation is? Top Rank. Mm -hmm. And Bob Arum and Bush Lewis was over top of the new Korean corporation called Top Rank. And Ali left Don King and went with them. Mm, okay. Don didn't like the idea that I left, me and the four brothers. And he called us the Five Snakes. Now, where we come from, you can't talk like that about us. First time we saw our names in the papers. So we called Herbert. Herbert! He said, don't y'all do nothing to Don King. I said, did he spell your name correctly? And we all look at our names. We said, yes, he spelled it correctly. He said, remember this. Bad news is better than no news. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot it. Just spell my name correctly. Because no one kicks a dead horse. It wasn't a dead horse. Mm -hmm. So Don decided to go see the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
because he went with a white man? Herbert said, it ain't about white or black. It's about green. Mm -hmm. He got just as much as green as you have. So I'm with Bob Arum now. Mm -hmm. I was with King. Mm -hmm. I'm with Arum over there in Germany. But they couldn't sell tickets. You know who sold them tickets? Me. I gave Arum his cut. He gave me my cut. That's how I make money. Because they all thought I was Herbert's son. Because I was close to Herbert. He took me under his belt and he taught me about business. Get it going in because you're not going to get it going out. Mm. And this is how Aaron came about. When I went into my first fight, Aaron offered me 350000 I said, I don't want it. He said, no problem. You're not a bad guy. You got little problems. He wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and you don't want to see that Aaron. But he was a good guy. I used to sit with his son. I used to listen to him negotiate. But Bob Arum, I said, no, I don't want nobody being my partner. That's it. I don't want nobody being my partner. 